everyone, it's Jerry Ann with scrapandstampcreations.blogspot.com and you are here for the second part of our eight page layout class um, using the cutting guides available over on my blog and close to my heart's Timberline collection um, as well as the workshop on the go and the um, embellishments and use your stash. That is the important part of the second part of the class. Um, the idea is not to have to go out and buy a whole bunch of new, but to get into your stash and pull out things that might work for you. So this is the stuff that I have come across. I went digging. I've got some basic gray stuff. I have some grunge board that's been cut. I've got some ribbon. I have some stamp sets. I have all kinds of little bits and pieces. The other thing is, is I have little itty bitty pieces of ribbon and brads and things like that that I don't want to throw away. And I, um, so I'm, I want to use them on my layouts. So the very first thing that I do on this next step is I go through and put all the layouts together. So all of them are adhesive down, all ready to go. So what happens is they end up looking like this. Here are all my little scraps, and here are some pieces that I'm going to embellish with on this paper that I am using from, it's an old collection from Kay and Company, and that. So I go through, the, this is the next step for these, is I go through and I build each and every page. Now, if you were sitting at my house doing this class, what you would have is I would already have my pages all done, so you could easily go through and put all your embellishments. You could do one page at a time and do all your embellishments and it would be fine. But because we're live, one of the things that I am doing is I kind of am doing in part. So as you can see, the bases of all of these pages, which are exactly the same layouts that we're using and exactly the same layouts that are in the Prima collection or the Primrose collection. Let me show you. This is my favorite layout right here. This is the one with all the cute little pieces that go across. This is page five and six. Okay. In, so while you can use these for all kinds of different papers, they look completely different. So here is the layout for the butterflies. This is my favorite one, all embellished, ready to go. Here is it ready to get embellished with other types of different little bits and pieces that I have. So very, the layouts are similar, but the pages look completely different because your pictures and your paper are going to make them that way. All right, so do you guys have any questions? So what we're going to do is we're going to run through and do this step. <laughs> they do look totally different. And yet, and then when we get to these, you'll see how different they look as well. So what I do is I slide page one and two out and lay them right on top of each other. So this is page one with all its little pieces. Okay. And here is page two with all its little pieces. And page three has decided it wants to join the party. We're going to slip him back in there. With all his little pieces. And we'll know that if page three might have tried to steal something. Okay. And because we have all of that put away nicely, it works really, really, really well. All right. So this is layout number three from the Make It From Your Heart book. Um, so layout number three here in the pattern book. This is all the cuts that you would need. This is the layout. These are two, um, this is one of the layout kind of suggestions, okay? So now I'm just going to kind of look and see. Here's page one and here's page two. I'm going to take my new pad away so I can lay them down side by side because they do flow into each other. So I'm going to lay them side by side 
And I'm going to try and line them up on a um, on one of the gritty parts. Glad you guys are enjoying this that makes it so much more fun for me I've been excited about this layout for a couple weeks and I am just tickled pink that you guys love it all right so we've got page one and page two all right let's see Now, remember your pieces are all double-sided, so you can choose to use whichever side you choose to use. And I think that's supposed to be... One of the nice things about the book is it tells you when you're going to leave bare paper like here and here, it tells you in the book how far to move your paper over. <laughs> That's okay. Um, how far to move your paper over to lay that first piece for you. So you kind of look around, and this piece says to go in a half an inch from the edge. So if I have my, my thing on my grid board here, and it's just in there the right way, if I get the first piece in a half an inch, lined up at the top, everything will now go on this really you really quickly okay so then the next piece to go down is this this gold rush piece love those colors together the next piece that's going to go down are these little pieces here and they're not going to go all the way down. This is called saving paper so that you can use this. So in the book, this piece is a whole piece. This whole piece right here is a 12 by 12 or a 12 inch piece that is one inch wide. I cut it down because it's going to um, get covered up by our two inch piece that goes right here. So why use that? Okay. And actually, I think I'm going to flip these over. And I might do the wood piece underneath. Yep, I'm liking that. So this is one of the benefits of two-sided paper. Sorry, you guys, you're hearing is thumping tonight. And then this piece goes right in between. Okay? Now we do the same exact thing with the bottom piece. So we're going to go ahead and put this piece in half an inch from the side. Should butt up right up against that piece there. This little piece goes down here. This piece goes right next to it. And then this piece goes right across. And it should just about line up. So it gives the idea, because this piece here and this piece here are little pieces. Yep. Okay, so here's our first piece. And we have our three. No, these are not right. Nope, these go on that one. Let's go over there. All right, so for the second page, like, oh, and then we put these here. No, we don't. All right, so P this piece here, 
Okay. Comes in one and three quarters, actually. Yeah, one and three quarters from the top and a half inch from the side. So how do you do that? You take a centering ruler, or one that you can see through, and you put half an inch, you put your ruler on the side, you put some tape on this piece right here. Okay? And you come down an inch and three quarters and just line your piece up and lay it down. Now everything's going to go right next to it. Piece I is the same. It's going to match this piece here. Okay. And it comes down one inch from the top. I told my husband I needed a T-square. He told me there was one in the garage that I could have. Needless to say, it did not make it inside yet. Okay. Then we have this other cute little piece right here. This piece goes in here. And then we have our wood green piece which is going to go one and a half inches down from the top. Which I'm going to eyeball of being right about there. Okay? Now, our big piece here, we have two little pieces here and a piece that fits in here. And this is one and three quarters down. It gives you another measurement, but I'm there. And these are page one and two completed. Page one, page two. I slipped them back in the pages. One and two. One and two. This is layout number three in the Make It From Your Heart page two or volume true. Okay? So those these are the basic pages. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the basics for number three and number four. three and four. And then this one is actually from, this is layout number, uh, layout number two from the Make It From Your Heart book. So we're going to go back to layout number two and it's going to show you how to put your paper together. How would you guys like for me to give away a couple of the how-to books? I think we might have to have a contest. I think, I think, I think. Okay. 
I think next month, because we're going to do volume one, some stuff from volume one next month, I think I might try and give away a couple. <laughs> so, I'm thinking it'll be fun. Might have to come up with some great ideas for how to get it done, because I know that not everybody has... Um, the ability to kind of rush right out and buy the newest, latest, and greatest thing. <laughs> so. All right. So we're going to start with these again. And this is saying to bring it down in our little guide. It says bring it down a half an inch. And it's going to go all the way to the side. So do you guys want to see what this one's supposed to look like? I didn't show you that. Okay, there's one. That's our base piece. It comes down a half an inch from the top. Then our cute little wooden pieces these cutting guides are one way also to justify buying two sheets of every paper that has two sided paper just so you know Because you can use both sides in multiple places. The second side to this was a plaid. I decided I wasn't going to use it. I might use it for some accent pieces since I have some of it in that in the scratch stuff. Oh, we're at 722, and we've already done all the cutting. We have all of the um, and we're down to four pages that are pretty close to being cut. Alright, so now I'm going to match this up a little because I'm just kind of being that way. And this goes right here to the edge, just like so. Now, when we put this one up against each other, it really is just a continuation of what we're doing. Actually, one of these goes on one side, one good. We're just going to leave our photo mats for a minute. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our first piece down. We're going to Butt our pages right up against each other like they were sitting in an album. We're just going to butt them up together. I haven't seen Martha tonight. Is Martha around? to find out what's up with Miss Martha tonight. Okay. This paper, because it is houndstooth, makes it look like it is not straight. 
but I have just cut these. <laughs> Aww. I hope she's not sick in bed. She's probably drowned by snow. However, she needs the rain. Colorado had a nasty, nasty summer last year. So they need the rain. They need the snow. They need all of that. So they had some nasty fires and stuff last year. Hopefully Tony hasn't gone to sleep yet. <laughs> Poor Tony, it's like 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, her time. All right, and our last piece. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and butt these up together. So that we can space our, our placement of a few things. Because this little piece here. It's going to go there. And this piece goes here. This piece get centered kind of off here. Oh. Well, I'm glad you didn't drift off to sleep yet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to center these two pieces here in the middle. Okay, so page three and four, the bases are done. I appreciate it. So we're going to slip these back in the page protector. Three and four. We're going to do five and six. These have lots of paper pieces. This is my favorite layout. Um, the way that this is the butterfly one. Oh, oh, no way. Well, we miss you and I hope you feel better. This is number nine from the, from the book. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I think this piece is labeled wrong. I think this one is labeled wrong for some reason. All right. Yuck. I know, we're getting a ton. We've got a ton now. It's been snowing all day. <laughs> uh, one and a half. 
inches down from the top is this little piece here. Did Harrison get a nine night pill? No. Could you please? I will. It's seven thirty. I know that's a little early, but I got hungry. Well go find something to eat. What do you want? The kid never eats. Never stops eating. Do you want to say hi to everybody, Harrison? No? Okay, well, they don't want to say hi to you either. Yeah? Okay, well. We'll live. Now, this is another saver kind of thing. Um, this piece in the pattern is all one piece, but because we have this piece that goes across that's three inches wide, I was able to save the paper by cutting it off just a little above and a little below. Yeah, well, let me tell you. I'm ready to send them to your house, Lucinda. They can, you know. Okay. And then this piece here, this piece here is supposed to come up two and three quarters from the bottom. So let's see. Okay. And then again, this kind of runs right across it. <laughs> All right. This piece of green pieces meet up and this piece of green goes right in with it so we just line those up we have our piece of and this is the one that we needed to cut down just a touch so I'm just going to grab my trusty little scissors and cut that right off. Okay. He went upstairs to find some food and a nine-eight bow. Okay. This makes it look like this is so wide and it's not. It's it's just an optical illusion. This piece comes down two and three quarter inches. from the top. I hope you feel better too soon, Martha. And this one comes down three and a half inches. If you need it to be precise. Some people do, some people don't. 
All right, and these little pieces here, we have three that are supposed to go in here and four on this side here. And then these all go down here. people hanging out in the shadows tonight. I'm glad that you came out, Martha, and at least let us know that you were fine. I know that you don't feel good, but when my regulars who I've who have been around, I haven't seen for a while, I start to get a little nervous. I'm glad. You know, it's very easy to kind of feel like you are um, kind of in the, you know, you know everybody and, and that kind of stuff. Um, I've been to quite a few of the Ustream shows in the last week or so. Um, I just try really hard not to do a lot of chatting when I know that it's somebody who is um, working on a project and selling kits and things like that because um, I'm just trying really hard to be respectful. Um, a lot of people ask questions and things about what's going on and with my class and everything today. I was in one of the the shows today was at Zandra's today and I popped in said hi to her and everything watched a lot of the show but I didn't chat a whole lot because I really just didn't want to take away from Zandra um, and all the work that she had put into the project and I, even though I know it was like the second time around because she lost her um, lost the feed the first time and uh, but I want you guys to know that I am still around and if you have questions you're welcome to PM me and stuff I'm t nine times out of ten. I'm doing something else, so I may turn the computer on and I'm doing laundry or, or that kind of stuff. Um, busyness is coming up with April being Autism Awareness Month, and our group is doing some really cool stuff. I should have my T-shirts in a week, and that that are really cool. And, um, but you know I'm around, so flip on and let people know. Um, you know if you have a question or you know just kind of wondering where I've been and everything. No, 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 no. Chatting is fine. Asking questions is amazing. Chatting is fine. All of that kind of stuff. Um, I think that it's just one of those things that I personally, um, it, it's just hard and I feel compelled, um, very compelled to be, um, to be very, conscious of the fact that people ask a lot of questions, especially with having a class like I did today with cutting guides and everything. There were a lot of questions I got via email asking about colors and, you know, oh, this paper and that paper and is this going to work and are you going to show and that kind of stuff. And I just want people to know that it's not that I want, you know, that I'm ditching anybody specifically or doing anything. Um, I just am really trying hard. Okay, so the last two pages that we are doing are, I normally, if you ever come to my house, um, is number five. The last two pages are number five. Yeah, it does depend on the group. If it's somebody who's just playing and really just kind of doing some cards and just visiting and everything, I tend to chat a lot more on those shows opposed to somebody who is teaching. Because I don't want to take away. I, I really, I'm wanting to learn something too. Alright, page number five. This is the one. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright. This is the last page in our book. Yeah. 
we are lucky you want to chat with us. So this is the last pages in the book, so I'm really excited. And as you can see in the catalog, this has some actual pieces all the way across. Like A is actually an 11 by 12 sheet of paper. And it's like, really, do we need an 11 by 12 sheet of paper? I don't think so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go a little different. I am actually gonna use some of those zip strips. And we're gonna go ahead and put the zip strip across the top there. Because those are half an inch. And I think it'll look fun on this page. So let's find our pieces. I think I'm going to use this one and the stars one. I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys understand that it's not it's not being snobby, it's not being snubbish, it's not being sneaky or anything. It is just that's what I want. That's kind of how I feel. Um, you know, most of the broadcasters know I'm there because I pop in and say hi to them or I'll pop in and do a PM to them ahead of time or something. So it's really cool. All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to do this, the moons and stars up on top. And I'm going to do these little arrows on the bottom. And I'm not sure if I want to do them um, coming into each other to bring our eyes in or if I want to do them all one direction. I think I'm going to do them in on each other. So I'm going to go ahead and put both of these down first. All right, and so we're gonna go ahead and put this one up here. Maybe I'll have to do some sleepover pages with this one, like tents and stuff, just cause the starry sky and, and these little strips. And this is how you personalize these. As you go through, you, you just start playing with them. You kind of are looking for layouts. You have the paper, you love it. Do you wanna to touch it? You wanna to see it? That kind of stuff, so. All right. One and an eighth. Let's see. All right, I've messed up my pieces, so now I have to kind of lay out things a little bit here. pieces everywhere here.
Kind of like a puzzle. <laughs> no, because I did these all the way across. All right, so this is where you can see where we end up with an issue. I have pieces and I'm stuck. Hold on. Oh, because this is the wrong way. Like, why is this not working? There we go. Duh. Where's my other little piece? Okay. <laughs> I think you guys are trying to be helpful and I'm like, ah. So let's see. All right, so this is two and three quarters from the top. So let's go ahead and get this piece down because I'm gonna have to find out. These pieces are all here. You guys just have to. One, two and three quarters is like right there, right? One, two, and no, that can't be right. This is the one that is really, oh, it's one and three quarters. Really? Where planet did I come from? Let's split our pages here. One and three quarters. One and three quarters. There we go. Just like that. <laughs> then this piece. Now these are all, if you look at this, if you have the book, you'll see that these are all big pieces that I cut down into slivers so that we could have more paper. And then this piece goes. And depending on how well you cut, you will either have just a little itty bitty piece that you can just nip right there. And then I should have a piece that goes along that side. 
That's not it. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be sleep out pages because I love this idea. This is going to be fun, fun, fun. All right, so now, oh, here's that little piece I needed. Only it's not long enough. But I put something in that corner, so it's not a big deal. Actually, we have this little itty bitty piece. If you have to have it all. If you just want to leave this corner naked, you can. Voila! Good night, Tony. All right. The next part goes pretty easy because I've already embellished in the right areas a little bit. Ah, dead tape runner. Oh, we're doing good, guys. It's only almost 8 o'clock. It's not like... I thought we were, like, pushing 9 or something. My time. We're working fast. Just want that to be kind of straight. These all do fit really nice like a piece like a puzzle and I had this piece turned wrong. Thanks for helping, Tony. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick that there. I'm going to tuck this little edge under just a touch. There we go. And then this little piece here goes here. And this actually is an eighth cut and I decided that I wasn't going to make you guys cut eights. See? And I think this was supposed to be a half inch piece. Yep. Half inch by seven and three quarters. So I think it's, I don't know. Half inch, seven and three quarters.
Silva. And now we have a couple of cute little pieces here. Alright, you ready for some stickers and embellishments, guys? Or shall we wait a week? some cute stickers that I think will look really, really cute with this. There was like tents and trees. Is there a tent in here? There is a tent. I love these little trees. So in order to take the sticky off your stickers, just stick them on your clothes. And then I'm adding this tree and a piece of my hair for prosperity. Because, you know, somebody, you know, if I ever go missing, you can tell them that there's DNA on the back of the layout via her hair that's stuck to the underside of her layout. Okay. They should be able to like find it. <laughs> yeah. I am using up the stash of poofy dots and things before I actually break out another one. Okay. The nice thing about close to my heart cardstock is, or stickers are they are made out of cardstock and you can pick them up and move them and all kinds of stuff without having too much of a problem. Okay. Hmm. 
I really like this. I think I'm going to stick it here. So what I do is I go through and I just kind of start sticking things down that I like, that I see. And, and kind of move through all four of the pages at a time. Let's see. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave, well, let's look and see what else we got in here. Oh, we have some little wood pieces. How about, let's see. I thought there was one that had this really cute, oh, you know what? I know where it's at. This is another thing to kind of look at is when you get these little things, they have embellishment ideas. Like they, I was here. And so somebody, it says sponge an irresistible piece with gold rush ink and then do this. So let's do that. Let's do this little piece right up there. So let's find an irresistible. And it looks like a dot one. <laughs> so we're going to pop one of these little puppies out. We're going to find some Gold Rush ink. Yeah, I think that'll work out really well. Gold Rush. There it is right there. We're going to find a piece of sponge. That isn't too icky. Oh, look, we got a brand new one. Because I got all that stuff, guys. Alright. Now I'm going to pull out my trusty little... Um, one of my pages off of my desk pad here. And I fold it in half. All right, you guys ready for some color? So excited. I've got dots. You guys see the dots? Probably not real well. I can see them wonderfully. Now what we're going to do is cut this puppy in half. Mm. I'm going to 
those down before I dump them. Zoom in. I will in just a second. Hold on. Let's see, where's my camera? That's as far as I can get you in. So you can see the pattern. All right, so those are chipboard. These are wooden pieces, and I'm gonna put a couple of dots behind it just to lift it up a little. Or actually, to make it so that it reaches to touch. Yeah, isn't that cute? So these are the pieces. So you guys can see them real well. And you get 13 pieces. So there's one cute one there. that was cute okay so here on this side we can put I'm gonna zoom you back out and I'm gonna find our stamp set here that goes with this which is right here for I'm going to use Ponderosa Pine I'm going to use a stamp set and I am going to take a piece of oops let's see small piece of that. There we go. I'm going to take a piece of this wooden paper. This is a little scrap for my scrap thing. I have my Ponderosa Pine ink. I'm going to use the We Are Here geotag. Got my cute little block here. I'm just conditioning my stamp. Okay. I'm 
thinking my ink pad might be a little dry. There we go. All right, so we're going to stamp it here on this little wood piece. Then we're going to fussy cut a little bit, round it just a touch. We're going to take another one of our little irresistible things. And we're going to take, let's see. We're going to take one of these with the argyle print out of the center, so this circle here. Don't want to lose my thing. And we're going to go ahead and ink that up. And you guys can see it gives it a really cool we're going to cut this one in half too All right. All right. Let's take and stamp this little arrow. And we'll cut it out too. And where's my piece of wood paper that I, here it is, all right. Cute little arrow. Little bit of fussy cut, not too bad. So, and now we're just doing kind of embellishment clusters here. Just like that. So, here's these two, you guys. And it's like 8.15. We have two pages done. And for this layout, you can easily put 
um, a three by three photo here, a three by three photo here, uh, a three by five and a three by five, a six by eight or two four by sixes, one right on top of each other, and then this little piece over here is a two and a half by two and a half inch photo. So here's what the picture looked like for what it suggested the layout to look like. Just some fun little things. Oh, see there's some cute little shoes. Ooh, we might have to stamp those shoes. Those shoes are cute. Wait, we're going to have to stamp those shoes like walking off the page here. Maybe over here. Maybe we'll put them maybe we'll put them across the way here. Oh, I like those shoes. Maybe they'll go across here. So let's get some chocolate, which is this color. Oh, and the shoes are separate. Yay. So we'll make sure to put shoes on all of our pages because that'll you um, give them unity. Unity. Voila. Love that. All right. Follow the footprints. So cute, cute, cute little two-page layout. And let's get you out just a little further so you can see. All embellished, ready to put the photos on. All right, let's slip those in our page protector. This little itty bitty piece of scrap back here. Down here, there we go. So those are done. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and embellish these ones because these are my favorite. Guys, still doing okay? Right. 
Oh, sorry. I'm enjoying myself. You guys haven't figured that out, but I really, really, really am. This is like a very fun class. This is something I really enjoy doing. And I'm looking forward to going and finding my Cub Scout pictures to, um, to get them in on these for scouts and stuff. They are fun. <laughs> all right have a good night thank you for joining us My son is going to drive the teenager baddie here in about 10 minutes because Harrison is listening to Elmo's World upstairs loudly because I can hear it. I think I'm going to want to put this cute little campfire right there by the tent. Oh, well, we've got some little pieces here. Mm -hmm. 
this is where those stamps are going to come in handy. Let's go ahead and put some and some shoes over here. The campfire hit the floor. Yep. Well, let's see what else I've got because I've got this box full of stuff, this stash of stuff. And you know what I have, which might be fun. Got more wood pieces, but these are flowers. They're not going to work. <laughs> but I do have some pieces. All right, let's see. I really like this. Yes, we do actually have a stamp set that's got little baby feet on them. And I will look that up and let you know. I have to put a little more sticky tape. I'm going to, I'll go back and add some really good um adhesive when I go to put my photos in because I might want to move these up Yeah, thank you. I'm getting rid of this backyard, but I'm going to keep the adventure piece. What else do we got? Oh, I've got some badge buttons. We'll put some buttons on them.
It might be. I'm not sure. Now, the stuff I'm pulling out now, guys, is all stuff that is from my stash. And it may be old and not available and stuff. Hmm. Baby impressions. Um, you know, I'd have to look. Because really, I'm not real sure. Yeah. And usually if you type something like baby, it'll come up. We're liking it. look and see what other kind of little embellishment thingies they've done. Let me look at the catalog really quick. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. There's a pig and a rooster. You know, I wonder what... Buddy, go. I wonder what the baby cakes has if it's got a hands and feet. I can't remember. Hmm, I don't know, I'll have to go. Yeah, it is really cute. There's a couple of cherubs. Yeah. I'll have to look it up and see if I can come up with something. I'm sure we have something. I'm just not sure what. All right. Um, This needs a few more things, and I'm just not sure. Oh, let's look at these. Oh, that's cute. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, leave my stuff alone. Dave, yeah. could you please go intervene? She's telling him he has to give up the iPad and she's going to bed and she doesn't want him to be loud and obnoxious. Gotta love him. This is the Hey Boy collection from Basic Gray. Brads, and I'm going to attach that puppy with. Like it over there. I think we might leave these alone a little bit as I kind of finish up um, like that right there. Yep, they have. They are the two ninety five. They are um, oh goodness, I'll have to look them up in just a second for you. There we go. So we're going to leave those be for a minute. The stamps are the stamps that you are talking about are um, called minis and they're on page 119 and there are quite a few of them. Okay, so we're going to leave these for a few minutes. We'll probably come back to them. One of the things that I really like to do is stretch out um, on a table with the embellishments and things and lay things out just so that I can kind of put things on a page, move things around thinking, oh, that looks great there. We might need something here, that kind of thing. Okay. 
page five and six. There was a really cute baby one in the last catalog um, that had a baby carriage. All right. So our little shoes are going to do some walking again on this one. I'm pretty sure I have the stroller. I'm finding that I'm collecting things over here on the side. I think I want to use some badge buttons on this one. I want to use this big stamp that says explore your world right here. And the cool part is, is these coordinate with our art philosophy cartridge from close to my heart. And so I cut a piece. Um, this is cut from page 54 of the art philosophy um, thing, thing, cricket cartridge. And it fits perfectly the stamp. So now we have to decide what color we're going to do it. And I think we're going to do it in Ponderosa Pine. Oh. I have been doing blue and adhesives throughout the entire, since I got back from CHA. So there's lots of different things. People are starting to get their gluing kits right at the moment. And so we'll be working just more and more. I do a lot of teaching about adhesives as we go through. We need to season this stamp, but I'm glad that you joined us. And thank you so much for asking the question. Okay, this is a really big stamp, so you definitely want to kind of ink it up really, really well. This is the stamp, too, that you are definitely going to want the squishy that comes with Close to My Heart stamps, just because it'll give you good coverage. So we're going to stamp it off once. So I'm going to stick my squishy under my scratch paper here. See if we can get a good stamped image here. <sighs> and I'm just going to give it a good push. <laughs> yep, DNA. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Did you get that settled up there, honey? Yeah. So I'm huffing on it a bit, lining it up. Putting it down. I'm going to stand up and press because it's a really big set.
and voila perfect all the way around cute little stamp that kind of stuff so let's gussy that up <laughs> So how about we put this here? I think what we're going to do as well is I'm going to stamp this world on another piece of our scratch paper. And I think I'm going to pull this big one out just because I want it to have the, the piece there. And I think I'm going to clean off the feet before they leave footprints places I don't want them to. I think I'm going to use the brown. And I'm just taking the Just the new ones, the first time that I use them. Using these honking scissors. I never use these scissors for this kind of stuff. I do have little ones there over here underneath something, I'm sure. All right. Put a little heart in Washington.
Oh, you know what? Let's try. Is it a dot? It is. It's something right here. Oh, cool. That's good to know. Yeah, it was just a basic gray kind of thing. Let's see. What's better is these are adhesive backed. How cool. All right, let's throw those up there. I'm gonna use those. Ooh, I like these, look at those. There's another one. Oh, wow. All right, well. All right, guys, it is nine o'clock. How are we doing? I'm going to need to finish up here pretty quick because I have kids who are going to bed. And oh, I like that. I know. <laughs> you guys are such big, big diehards. Yeah, it's nine o'clock here and I've been on a while. Okay, 
really, really love these little pieces. These are cute. screws and stuff. Didn't use a lot of ribbon or twine or anything like that. <laughs> well, I'm feeling pretty good. What do you guys think? You want to do the last two with me really quick? And then I'll photograph them and get them all up on my blog. Turned out really cute. So we've been at it three hours, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six.
Does that sign say what? Tough as nails, super. Yep, I'll get the shoe prints. Um, you spin me round, round. I think. I'm going to move these off to the side a minute. Seventy five, Highway seventy five. And I think those were a basic gray to something. That was the basic gray hay boy. something. I wish I was somewhere warm. pad comes in close to my heart stamp four and a quarter by three and a quarter four and a half by three It's a squishy thing.
Yeah, it is really, really nice. It It's nice because it lets you squish and that, which is really, really good. What are some of the things they did with this cute stamp set? Sometimes they have really cute little embellishment things. Is way too tall. I don't know. I do three and a quarter by four and a quarter. I'm a little crowded.
Mm. Maybe that was a little much for him. Oh, that one's nicer. Did Harrison go to sleep? I know. Is he doing okay? All right. Those are nice. Ah, yay! I'm so glad. Make sure you post some pictures, you guys. Um, I think that's one of the things I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna give a book away for the person who does layouts and the book away person who does cards, and that. And I might actually give away some of the new ones that, well, the new ones or the, um, like one of the bigger books. Because honestly, you like that. That makes me happy makes me feel like what I'm doing is something that you guys are really enjoying. That it's useful to you besides just me. You can post it over on my Facebook page. You can post it on your Facebook and tag me in it. You can just email it to me if you don't want to post it online. Ugh. Some days I wonder. But I am at least having fun while doing it, which is why I do what I do. I can commit to one day a week, and sometimes I can get in a couple of other, you know, another day or something. Because I still have to embellish those other pages, so I may sit down with my embellishments and decide, and then run those as a really quick video. And now that the computer is just kind of doing some cool things... <laughs> I am a Facebook girl. Just don't know.
Alright, so I have a piece of bamboo cardstock here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull stickers. Which stickers? Oh, those are stickers, yep. All right, hubby's going to bed. Oh, no, these are, those are close to my heart. Those, um, you, if you guys watch the while, it, while supplies last section of my website, you'll find really, really, really good deals. And that when they retire embellishments or change things around a little bit. And that so those were on while supplies last for quite a while and they're square ones and round ones and pewter and brushed gold and some other things oh my husband had better taken out the garbage tonight and I need to have a conversation about that Dave Oh, it sounds like he is right now. Yay. <coughs> I'm going to put the bobcat, I guess, in the middle. No. Not yet, anyway. Not yet, anyway. My kids might think I am. <laughs> I can just see my kids think that that would be me. Yeah. Thank you. 
I'm excited. Not sure. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I should just stop fussing with it and just be done with it. There we go. All right, I think I'm done for a minute. Oh, it has no feet. It needs some shoes. That's what it was missing with some shoes, you guys. All right, guys. Now I still have all of this, the couple of pieces of paper, and my stamps and everything that I can still create with. Got a little bit of stickers left, lots of ephedra kind of stuff. I'm going to stick those in the Probably could make up a couple of cute cards, manly birthday cards, or just because cards.
All right. So here are the pages, start to finish. Here's my mess. We've got stamps out everywhere. So, page one and two, page three and four. Page five and six, and seven and eight. And I love them. I really, really love them. They turned out really cute. All right, so more things like this, guys. Do you like this? Would you like some more? Um, I really like how this turned out once I got it kind of balanced a little bit. Yes, out of the book. I can't wait to get started on my cards. I know, I know. I'm hoping to do, I'm, I'm going to try and do one of the bigger books again. So we've got the Make It From Your Heart one and then some other stuff. So I really appreciate everybody joining me tonight and playing along. This was such a fun, fun class. I enjoyed it immensely. I will be making a few more pages, I'm sure. Um, we're showing what else people can do with the collection. Um, you can um, go over to my blog at scrapandstampcreations.blogspot.com and pick up some of the close to my heart items. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek on the um, some of the things that I'm working on for the next little thing since you guys stayed so long. Um, <coughs> I um, am working on a, I have the cutting guides already done for volume one for the 12 cards and I have been coloring. So this is that trailer set, this set right here. It is so cute and fun. And so I am working on some cards for that. And I've colored with some gelatos and I've just had a really, really good time. So yeah, it's a really cool sneak peek. And that, I love how they turned out. And this will be an upcoming class that I'm working on. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I really, really appreciate it. And I love the fact that you guys are enjoying everything. I feel totally blessed that I have been, um, that you guys have supported me this month. I've had my best close to my heart month in, in a year at least. So, um, I'm tickled pink, which means I can get more and more and more stuff. So, um, you guys have a great night. I'll get some photos up on my blog as well as some photos on Facebook and we'll go from there. Have a good night, everyone.